Hello Aries, how are you today? We're doing your mid-June to July, it's July. Mid-June to the beginning of July of this current year. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it because it's just a card game, right? That's a new deck to use too. It's the vice versa deck. And I like it so far. I hope you guys like it too. It's gonna be six ways as usual. Five of swords. King of Swords reverse. Who you want with a bad attitude? <laughs> it's not good for you. You got a fear or rejection dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Also, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right here. Two of Wands in the situation. Three of Wands reverse in what's going against you as an obstacle and challenge. High Priestess in the catalyst as well as the final result. What started it and what will end it. And then we have the Princess of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, once again. It's gonna go over here. It's kind of in the way. There we go. Well, no, that's too far. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Someone wants to take the first steps in opening up. Trying to, I guess, express her emotions. Almost in like a childlike fashion. be a water sign someone's dealing with too so let's see five of swords like somebody betrayed somebody someone stabbed them with five swords and they bled all over the ocean floor hmm could be dealing with a Capricorn or it could just be a situation where two people are bound because, like, um, it's not that they aren't financially savvy, but it's just kind of like, you know, this is the home they've always recognized, even if it isn't, like, the most... Mm, healthy environment. It's still their home. It's just like, you know... Uh, I've lived here this entire time. I wouldn't have anywhere to go. Even if it's not with the Capricorn, it's just like a connection that you have with someone that probably isn't the best for you, but it's just like, I don't know what else to do. Then we have... This is the Queen of Wands and Judgment Reverse. Ooh. Okay. So not only is there wrath coming down, it's probably for not the best reasons. Maybe her judgment's clouded and she can't see that these people are, got, are like, I don't know, it's like quivering almost? Or maybe they're just trying to offer to this judgmental being. It's kind of like she can't see what the right decision is. Especially when it comes to a group of people, maybe family or friends, or just those she used to be connected with. Um, <coughs> someone can't make a choice, really, about like how to offer a cup right here. Having a hard time making decisions with that, too. Sorry about that card. I didn't mean to do that. Um... These are very... These are such unique cards. Like, I'm still trying to learn them because I just got them yesterday. But it's like... Someone just can't come to this decision. Like, they're looking at it and they know that it's the glowing light bulb. But it's like they're still in the dark. Like, the dawn or the light hasn't hit them yet. So they're still kind of in the dark about this whole... Not having an option when it comes to opening up to somebody they do love. Like, this would be like, you know, I really don't care about this person as much as I thought I did, so that's why I'm cutting it off. But this is like, I still care, but it's gone. 
like light's already hit over here and it's like the light hasn't hit here yet. Then we have Knight of Pentacles and the full reverse. Um someone thought they were going on the right kind of trip and and it just it, it like it kind of left them feeling um it felt, made them feel like, you know, like, maybe money isn't important. Or maybe there's something here that, like, couldn't fulfill me in some manner. Well, that was a long beginning, at least. <laughs> Alright, so maybe that's why the betrayal went down. So this Five of Swords, right? Yeah, betrayed someone, and now you feel left out in the cold, possibly. Or the person you're dealing with feels this way. Maybe you did it, but you didn't realize what you were doing. Or... Like, that was at the... Like, you betrayed somebody at, Like, somebody got betra betrayed somebody. Alright, someone... Did some shady crap back at, during the height of their life, and now it's like they feel like they're at a pretty darn low, and it's like you know. I kind of wish I could go back and like change how things went down. Now we got the two of wands, where there's a dude alone, and the situation's looking back at the past, trying to make a decision from it. Possibly wants to go back. But that's kind of a fruitless venture. Mm. Like sitting there watching how things went down. Or watching how this has grown. Like patiently waiting. Only to realize it didn't come to fruition the way they thought it would. It's like they planted trees that just, like, sprouted that fig tree. They were meaningful. But they also poisoned everybody, you know? Like, uh, this King of Swords, reverse. Someone's want and wish. Um, a nasty attitude. Not wanting to open up about things. Um, trying to... Turn their back to the situation, not cause anything else to come about it. Rather, facing the day, almost pushing it back of sorts, right? Aries, this could be you since that's the magician, or it could be somebody you're dealing with. But it's like this person is like trying to push the light away. And still failing to do so. It's like this, uh, it could be an air sign, of course. But it, I, I feel like they don't want to face the day. The way I'm picking up with this card. They're trying everything in their power not to come into the situation with the light. Like, they got a candle and it's just like, dude, that's the sun. The hell he's thinking? You know, how are you going to use the candle to back up the sun? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> um, obstacle and challenge coming against you. Three of Wands. Somebody is not waiting, and it could be you, Queen of Wands, right here, right? Or it could be a Sagittarius or an Aries. She's got her back turned to this whole thing. What she faces is not waiting or expecting anything else. That's the obstacle and challenge coming against you. Like you have to have the desire not to want to deal with this person even though you want to deal with them. It's like you invested in like somebody who had no consideration for what they were doing. Okay. Um, the fear and rejection. Queen of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody who can manifest all on her by herself. She don't need nobody. Completely independent independent a beautiful and loyal spouse um who too has a nasty attitude <laughs> with the king of swords reverse to the point where like she'll just cut somebody out and like turn her back on him immediately just be like nah like this person um this queen of pentacles is uh she's open to suggestion 
Mm. I don't know if that king of swords is the same person. It's almost like he he's playing mystery guess. Like you don't know what he's doing. Like he's just sitting there, sure, but you really don't know what he's doing. And it's almost like someone's afraid he's communicating only with this Queen of Pentacle and whatever information uh, like she's getting from him. She's using to create something. That's like a fear, like conspiracy theory, everyone. Hashtag conspiracy theory. The earth is coffee cup shaped. <laughs> okay. And the high priestess. She's getting like the downloads, as the kid calls it, about the world reverse. There's a hink in completing this circle, but it will continue on. Like, there was a kink in it, but it, it's going to complete. If it were like this, I'd say, like, uh, you're not learning your lesson, and that's why the situation keeps perpetuating. But you might not have learned a lesson, but you completed the task. So it's like, yeah, okay, you know, you, you, let's just end this properly as best we can, despite the circumstances, and, you know, just... Move on to better subjects, because, you know, we, if we try this again, you're just going to fail the class. You know, that kind of thing. It's like the High Priestess is coming down to, um, di like, express that that is, like, what the gods have yielded upon it. Because, you know... Because, you know, it's nighttime. Nobody can see in the... Like, they're both the dark sides, you know? Like, look at this. These are the happy, clear sides. This is like darkness and nighttime. It's so dark, someone can't even see whether or not something is not clarity or not. And that's kind of part of the issue right there. You know? Like, the sun's dissipated. There are guards sitting up here being like, What the fuck do you think you're doing, shithead? Is that your horse? You know what we do with the kids who touch horses that don't belong to them? And like, here's a sword, and it could almost go into this kid. Like, this eagle's supposed to be coming here, bearing, I guess, some good news. And this dude's just like, oh shit, this bird's coming at me? I'ma cut it. <laughs> it's so dark that nobody can see. They can't find their happiness, and they can't find any truth in anything. That's why this cycle's ending the way it is. It's not completed, but at this point, it's just kind of like... Maybe it's for better. Just maybe. Now, what is the ending theme? Well, I can't say that it, if it is or isn't better. That's really up to you to make a situation whatever you want it to be. What's the ending theme, please? Going on this journey completely blind, possibly looking for failure. The full reverse reverse. Dark reverse. Right? As I will call it at this point. Ah, I got candle wax all over it. God damn it. That's what you get for not cleaning your shit, Faith Ann. You monster. Okay. Anyway, though. <laughs> this is like dark full reverse, like, going on a, a, probably a really failed journey, or what looks like a very exceptionally ended journey, but honestly, like, I feel more as this with this, I feel like you're not taking a leap of faith, you're going completely blind, just running into this cycle, the same direction because the, even though this ending is like really whack there's still light behind here and he's in the dark and that is a much better testament to what one would like to have in life i'd assume okay. yeah turning your back or getting the wait hold up hmm 
It's like you can't see what's really going on, but you know the devil's there. Hmm, what a strange expression. I would think someone is, like, getting away from that, but I don't know, because I don't feel that way. It's more along the lines of, um... You can't see what's going on with those people. The devil can. But you can easily get sucked into it if you go around that stone. But there's a flower down there, and the book is burning, so maybe, just maybe, there is a chance that something, or these two people might have escaped, too. That one's a weird interpretation of the devil, because I don't know what to make of that. Like, the devil's still there, and those people are still there. It's just, you can't see anything, but there is light coming in. Hmm. What's the next card? I'm not sure I'm gonna... And, uh, how, like, that one actually kind of confuses me, because it's just like, well, what the hell does that mean? And someone's leaving it? Because it's like... Maybe the devil's counseling these two. Just being like, look, you know, you guys can't keep doing this shit. Like, even I'm getting tired of y'all's bullshit. I got things to do. I want to go home to my wife and kids. You know how long I've been <laughs> Um, Four of Wands reversed. There was a coupling and people were happy, but definitely no, definitely not open. Like maybe two people got hooked up together and like they woke up after being drunk at a bar and sleeping together just being like, mmm, I don't know. No. <laughs> <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. Someone decided their fate, and then, like, you know, it, it just kind of, yeah. Um, that's probably why you're going into the next one blind. It's kind of like, oh, you, you played the wheel, and it didn't go in your favor, and then, like, you know, there were just swords all in you. Just did not go that well at all. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, damn, dude, that sucks. Yeah, I totally get why this person's just being like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go wherever I can. Anywhere that I can be myself again, you know. Maybe even starting fresh. Because honestly, Aries, this seems kind of like... It almost seems like even you bit off more than you could chew. I think we're all going through that, honestly. But... That was your reading. Thanks for watching. If you want a personal reading, my email is down in the description below. I don't charge, but I take donations and chips if you so choose. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. And I will see you guys later. Mwah. Have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye.